Direction, uh, I would like to uh, show you today something about um, um, the study of uh, PVDF uh, um, material placed on a vibrating structure. We would like to analyze uh, the optimal layout of, uh, uh, of, of the PVDF uh, material, PVDF sensors on these vibrating, vibrating structures uh, for the harvest, energy harvesting and uh, structural health monitoring applications. So uh, main motivation was uh, that uh, there is an increasing requirement on uh, the real-time monitoring of uh, various civil engineering and uh, aerospace structures. Uh, uh, we need some uh, new uh, cheap uh, sensors or energy converters which can be used also for powering of uh, wireless autonomous sensors. Main goals of this work uh, works, uh, work is um, uh, to analyze the potential of the PVDF uh, piezoelectric film on uh, some also large scale uh, energy harvesting or structural health monitoring uh, applications. Uh, then analyze best distribution um, uh, of these PVDF elements on the vibrating structure to obtain highest voltage and uh, power response. Uh, the advantages of PVDF piezoelectric films are the following. Uh, it's very low material, uh, very low, um, uh, very light material. Uh, so it doesn't add any additional weight to the structure or significant weight. Um, it's highly elastic with low stiffness. Uh, uh, it adds uh, additional uh, surface protection. Uh, it's also affordable for large surface areas and um, there's relatively low price for, uh, for uh, some area uh, in comparison with other piezoelectric materials. So in our study, we, we, we choose a simple um, a geometry of the plate, uh, two times 200 uh, times 200 millimeters, uh, on which we placed uh, the piezoelectric film which was divided uh, uh, on uh, different uh, uh, ratios in, uh, uh, in X and Y direction. As you can see on the right, right side, uh, the static configurations uh, were the following. So we have uh, three uh, piezoelectric uh, pads uh, uh, in the X direction, then uh, five, seven, and uh, also we try to use a check uh, if there is only one uh, pad. The plate was uh, 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 half millimeter uh, thick uh, and the PVDF film around 130 microns uh, thick. Uh, the plate was uh, uh, clamped uh, and these two lines uh, and fixed and, and then uh, excited by um, uh, excited by the acceleration in, in the direction uh, of one g. Uh, in the uh, there are material characteristics. So uh, the steel steel plate uh, is clear. Uh, the PVDF material has the following uh, material characteristics. We see that uh, the material is almost a hundred times softer than than the steel. So it doesn't add any uh, significant stiffness to the, to the structure. In the first step we did uh, model analysis. Uh, we see uh, how uh, the natural frequencies, uh, um, or we see the natural frequencies of, of, of the vibrating structure, the first 10. Uh, in the first uh, part of the screen, you see the frequencies for a plate without PVDF film. So we see how, um, the, the natural frequencies of the plate look like, and then uh, we can compare them with uh, natural frequencies of the plate with added uh, uh, PVDF film. Um, the top number is the uh, frequency for uh, a plate with divided uh, um, in PVDF film. Uh, the number in brackets is the um, a frequency for a case when the film is in one piece on the structure. You see that there is almost no significant difference in, in the natural frequencies when we add uh, the PVDF film. So uh, you can see that it doesn't influence uh, the, the model characteristics of, of the structure. Okay, uh, here you can see the 
um, analysis. Uh, so first we did the, the uh, model analysis and from uh, um, from the uh, found uh, natural frequencies, uh, we we did uh, harmonic analysis at a given frequency. So we, we here see the harmonic uh, uh, analysis for the first, third and eighth mode. Uh, you see how the uh, structure vibrates. And uh, in the middle, you see uh, the mean power generated on a particular um, a piezoelectric elements or PVDF elements. You see that the highest power or voltage also uh, is in, in, uh, in the place where we have maximal deformations uh, uh, on the structure. So in the center, uh, in the clamping, in the case of the first mode and, and uh, similarly in case of this, uh, on, of the other modes. Um, in the next step, we uh, we try to analyze how the power generated power on the PVDF element depends on the uh, resistance uh, of the of the connected to to the circuit of uh, of the uh, of the of the element. Um, so we see quite strong dependence, and we found there is some optimal uh, uh, resistance uh, connected, uh, which is in order of mega ohms in this case. And this resistance depends also on the size of the pad. So here we see uh, uh, um, 12 divisions uh, in the y direction. Here only six divisions in, in the in the y direction. So here in, at the bottom, uh, the pad is two times uh, uh, thicker or not thicker, but uh, um, bigger in the in the y direction. Uh, then in the first case, and we see that uh, the optimal. Uh, Resistance is uh, um, uh, approximately half of uh, of this one, so uh, we can say that the optimal resistance is inversely proportional to the size of, of the of the PVDF pad. Uh, the generated power was uh, in the center uh, in order of uh, microwatts, uh, approximately 23 in, in this case, 36 in this case. Uh, but uh, I have to say that uh, it depends also on the on the uh, uh, damping ratio set in the, in the model. So uh, this is also issue which we have to analyze in the future yet. Uh, here we see how uh, the the same situation looks like for different uh, divisions of uh, the PVDF pad. So now we don't have three pads uh, in the x direction, but uh, five. We see that uh, also the uh, optimal resistance uh, is higher because we have smaller pet. Uh, and then when we compare uh, the different divisions in the X direction, so we have three divisions, five, seven divisions, uh, we see that also uh, the generated power uh, in the central element uh, increases uh, when we have uh, more divisions. Uh, it increases uh, when we relate it uh, to to the uh, um, um, to the surface of the of the pad. Uh, of course, uh, in absolute numbers, it's it's lower. But if we relate it uh, to to the size of the pad, uh, it's 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 higher in in case of uh, um, you know, finer divisions of, of of the of the pad. So. Uh, Similar situation can be seen also in case when we uh, sum uh, all the powers from all elements uh, over the whole plate. So this is the total power uh, obtained from the whole vibrating structure. Uh, and we see that in case of three, uh, uh, three uh, divisions in X direction and seven divisions, we can get uh, also 1600% uh, difference in, in generated power. So the finer divisions we have, the, the higher uh, generated power we can we can obtain. The most important is uh, the final division in in the uh, direction in the lateral direction to to the main uh, deformation. Uh, in the if we look uh, on the next figure, we we change the divisions in the in the y direction. So uh, along let's say the wave of uh, of the uh, vibrating mode. And we see that there is almost, almost no difference in the total uh, generated power. So uh, this doesn't influence, uh, the division doesn't influence the uh, generated power. Uh, there is uh, just uh, uh, show how uh, the generated power look like uh, in case of a higher mode. So this is the third mode. 
there are significantly small deformations than upon the first mode. So you see also significantly lower uh, generated power on the whole structure. Uh, but the voltage is still in the order of um, hundreds of millivolts. So uh, um, these uh, PDF elements can be used also for uh, the structural health monitoring purposes, not for energy harvesting, but uh, for some structural health monitoring. Uh, in case of uh, the uh, eight uh, mode, uh, the situation looks similar, but we have a higher, a little bit higher uh, total generated power uh, since uh, there is more deformation uh, um, uh, induced on the structure. So uh, the generated power is it's, uh, it's, it's higher. Okay, so uh, let's uh, briefly summarize uh, my talk. Uh, um, uh, the PVDF film uh, the produced highest power in the region with highest deformations uh, of the same sign. This is, uh, I think, already now. Um, uh, the optimal resistance uh, connected to the PVDF uh, material is inversely proportional to the size of the PVDF pad. Uh, the smaller pad we have, the higher optimal uh, connected resistance uh, we need. Uh, the highest power is obtained uh, primarily for the first vibrational mode. So the first vibration mode is uh, also used, uh, utilizable for uh, energy harvesting purposes. Uh, in case of the higher modes, uh, we, can, we can use them or we can utilize uh, the response from them uh, in, in the structural health monitoring regime. Uh, important is to not put the elements uh, to cross the, uh, um, the, the PDF elements to cross the nodal points or nodal lines. Uh, since then uh, the generated power will be will be lower. So um, the final division we have uh, the lower um, uh, the lower uh, probability uh, we will have that we uh, we uh, cross these these lines. Okay, uh, so I think uh, this was uh, the most important what I want to say. And then uh, in the next step, we would like to uh, test uh, these uh, results on the real plates subjected to vibrations, also to determine the damping coefficients, which are important uh, for the um, estimation of uh, real values of the generated power. And uh, then we would like to uh, apply this PVD film also on some um, real aircraft, for example, aircraft structure and uh, to test them. Thank you for your attention and I'm open for discussion.